Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. <sighs> Today, we're taking a look at a compilation of Foodie Beauty being a complete mess for 10 minutes straight. The compilation that I'm reacting to was made by a channel called Dainty. Here's their original video. Please don't copyright strike me. Foodie Beauty goes off the rails so far and with such frequency that it is both disturbing and hilarious. Subscribe to the channel immediately or something terrible will happen. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. I know this sounds bad, but that bite was like worth being fat for. Was it really? I seriously doubt it. I've had fried chicken before. It's pretty good, but uh, screw all my hopes and dreams good? Uh, screw my entire life good? Um, to hell with all of my internal organs good? Um, <laughs> even just for a split second. Hmm. For a split second, it was worth being fat for that bite. It must have been just the right amount of crunchy fried goodness, huh? Thank God you've never tried actual drugs. Oh wait, I've heard that she's actually on some real drugs too. <laughs> we'll see if we get to that or not. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Oh my goodness, dude. There's chips atop the sandwiches. What's happening? Does anybody find that appetizing? A pile of sandwiches that has chips laid on the top? Why is there chips on top of the stupid pile of sandwiches? Who looks at that and they're like, yes, this will be a good day. Like, why? Why Why are there chips on top of the sandwiches? Sorry, I'll try to stay focused here. I need a chip right now. Ah, that's why the chips are on top. Okay. Because we cannot wait five seconds. I need a chip right now. Okay, I got you now. Where do you guys keep your chips? Inside of some sort of plastic bag or something? <laughs> what are you, an idiot? <laughs> Put them on top of the sandwich, dum dum. God, gotta teach you guys everything. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, she's about to start testifying. Uh oh. Do oh no, oh no. What? Okay, she does this thing sometimes where she's like, shh, I said shh, when she's in the middle of eating. Who is she saying this to? The voices? I guess I don't know because there's nobody there. <laughs> shh, shh, I said shh. Okay, now I can enjoy this sandwich. Huh? Voices, shut up. I am good enough. Shut up, voices. Hmm, chips. Um, oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? What is happening? Oh my goodness, she is possessed, fam. Okay, so you're just gonna straight up transform in front of us after you took a bite of that, whatever that was. Took a bite, she's like, oh! <laughs> what is happening? Oh my goodness. I like that she has like zero shame. That's cool. There's no shame at all here. In any of this, there is zero shame. Shame is an emotion that she chooses to not identify with, as Jordan Underwood taught us. Oh my god. <laughs> you know we got a thumbnail right here. What is that? Why are your eyes rolling in the back of your head with every bite? Why? Oh, it's weird. Her eyes keep rolling back in her head every time she takes a bite. Like a freaking shark. This also could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Look at those three giant sauces. Those aren't even normal sauces. Those are like freaking... Those are like Rubbermaid containers, bruv. How am I supposed to give this up? I appreciate the honesty. I mean, yeah, it is very addictive. How are you going to give it up? It is very difficult. 
So in that regard, yes, it, it is difficult to give it up. You are correct. Step one, though, is to stop eating it. You stop eating it. You got to go a certain amount of time without eating it until you stop craving it. You have to stay away from food that's manufactured by people that use the phrase bliss point. Okay, you've had enough bliss points. It's time to eat some food that doesn't set off fireworks inside of your brain anymore. Just like a regular old sandwich, you know, just, just a sandwich or something that you just made yourself in the kitchen. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a life-changing experience with every single bite. In fact, it shouldn't be, you know? I don't want to get all hot and bothered every time I take a bite of a sandwich, dude. That's going to get weird in public. I'm all like, oh, hoo, 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 that's a sandwich, boy. Like, no, no, that's weird. We can't do that in public, no. In the middle of a restaurant getting all hot and bothered about a sandwich? No, we can't do that. Society will not like it. They hate it, in fact. They, they hate it when you start moaning when you're eating your food in public. I don't know why. Everybody gets so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Why can't this food be good for you? I don't know, but it doesn't taste that good either when you stop consuming it for a while. It honestly tastes like garbage. It's like a joke, you know? It's like, here, I'm gonna give you all this food your body craves. It's hyper palatable, it's so pleasurable, it releases endorphins in your brain. But you can't have any. Yeah, dude, just like heroin. You know, I have the same gripe with hard drugs. They feel all good and stuff, but they're also bad for you, and you shouldn't have any because they're bad for you, dang it. Why are there substances that make you feel good but are also bad for you? Why? Why? Darn universe, I guess. I don't know, man. Welcome to Earth. Earth is full of a lot of things that feel good to do, but you shouldn't do them because they're bad for you. I don't know, man. I just kind of woke up here one day, so I don't know what's going on with this planet. I love that she's pondering like the most basic stuff of this planet, like water is so fun to swim in, but why do we drown? Why do we drown though? Why can't I breathe underwater? It's so fun to swim. Like what? <laughs> what? Pondering the deep questions, I see. It's not gonna, no, you can have some, but it'll, it's not good for you. No, you can't have any. <laughs> That's the solution. You can't have any. Don't have any hair on either, son. I know it looks real fun when you see all those people slumped over in the middle of the street, but uh, don't try it. Much like hair on, people that overindulge in fattening food are a warning sign to everyone around them, right? You look at somebody obese and you're like, oh, I better stay away from the fast food. You look at somebody nodding out on the street and you're like, oh, I don't think I'm going to try the hair on. I'm sure that it was fun when that person first started doing it, but it doesn't look like they're having a good time now. It looks like they're slumped over in the middle of the street. So I don't think I'm going to start using the hair on to begin with. We can learn from other people's mistakes. The truly big brain people do that. You ain't even gotta make a mistake yourself. Shake my head. <laughs> the background music there was freaking perfect. Dainty, you are an artist. She's like, why? Why the food gotta be so fattening? And there's this beautiful music playing in the background. She's just like, man. It's deep, isn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. You're smelling that weird little sauce that's on there? <sighs> MSG. <laughs> At least your nose works. <laughs> that's exactly what's in there. Mwah, monosodium glutamate, just like a mama used to make. No way. I hate that there's a whole genre of people that made it big on YouTube for eating in their car. Mm. Why was this ever content? Not that I'm content, I suck too, but I don't suck this bad, do I? Do I suck this bad? That Chick-fil-A sauce? Mm -hmm. I dreamt about food like all night long. I dreamt about food all night long. What? Why? <laughs> what? Which part of food did you dream about? Like the part where you picked it up and put it in your mouth and chewed it and swallowed? Like, I don't understand how you have a food dream. I had that dream again where the donuts came in through the window 
wearing a thong only. Oh. That was a reference to a Simpsons episode where Smithers was thinking about Mr. Burns flying in through the window. Mm. Mm. All right, simmer down now. Simmer down, it's just a sandwich. Dang, it's loud. You got a freaking boom mic right over your head? What's happening? Do you have like soundstage people just offset like crunching glass to get the sound of the chips or something? You guys ever seen how they make sound effects for movies? Nothing is the way that it seems, dude. The walking, like instead of just filming somebody walking, they have like, oh, your shoes going over some rice or some silly stuff. Mm. <laughs> All right, man, it's just nachos. Take it easy. Sorry, I'm in a zone right now. Um, why are your eyes always rolling into the back of your head? Dude, every couple seconds, she's like, oh, <laughs> why, dude? I've never seen anything like this. Who does that when they're eating? She's not trying to be funny or like hyperbolic at all either. This is just straight up her. This is weird. Dude, I've never seen anybody moan and have their eyes roll back in their head as often as Foodie Beauty does when they eat. In fact, I've never seen anybody do it at all. She takes a bite, she's like, oh, like what the hell? You lean back and look up to the sky and start praising Jesus with every bite. Oh my goodness. So good. So I thought I would just do a video for you guys because I'm eating my cheat day. <laughs> eating your cheat day. Okay. Oh my goodness! That's what that sound was! Okay, wow. Okie dokie, uh, I'm sorry for that, folks. Uh, that was her. I first, when I first heard it, I thought it was the sound of somebody upstairs opening the door or something. <laughs> and then it happened again. <laughs> oh, foodie beauty just ripped ass. Um, that's what's going on here. That's what that sound was. Okay, uh, dude, she's got no shame, fam. Oh my goodness. She's like, yeah, so here we are. <laughs> back with another eating challenge. So your eyes are rolling in the back of your head, you're moaning, oh, and then you're also just ripping ass, just completely. <laughs> oh my God. Something about her personality hits like a 12 year old boy, dog. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh. oh my goodness, are you okay? Uh. Oh my gosh, why? Why are you moaning repeatedly? Uh. All right. Strawberry cheesecake. And she's all like out of breath. She's like, strawberry cheesecake. <sighs> All right, man, food is good, but I've never had any food this freaking good, dude. I've never, I've, I'll take whatever she's having, all right, because I've never had anything that good in my life. Sometimes I have coffee that's pretty good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't stop being weird. What is that, a breakfast roast? Oh, sorry. I can't stop doing it, damn it. Mm, is that freshly brewed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here, um, she seems very happy to show us this waffle. Mm. <laughs> All right, dude, take it easy. It's not that freaking good. Why are you staring right into the viewfinder of the camera, like, all intensely? Like in those dance movies when somebody's dancing all intensely and they're staring at you. Like she's got that look in her eyes. Bill Burr once said, he's like, don't be staring at me that intensely unless you just like beat up 10 people or something. You can't do dance and then stare at me all intensely like you just did something crazy. Like you just danced. What are you doing? If I ruin that, I'm sorry, Bill Burr. I'm sure you'll watch this. My favorite comedian will definitely watch my stupid YouTube channel. What's the matter, Bill? You're too good? <laughs> Thought I knew you even though I've never met you. Today I have for you. Oh, it doesn't even say. A greasy bag. I can see what's in the bag before you even open it. A plethora of hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's what's in that bag. A veritable cornucopia, if you will. 
on the bag, but five guys. Five guys are in that bag and they're trying to escape. Burger and fries. I'm going to the gym after this, isn't that appropriate? Why would you eat fast food and go to the gym? So I poured a bunch of honey inside of my car's gas tank and now I'm gonna go for a drive. Okay, that's weird. Look at these bad boys. Oh my God. I got the Cajun fries. They really hooked it up, huh? It's piling up all out the top. Mm. No, I have no idea what the calories are for this. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm honest. Well, yeah, if you're eating a fast food, why would you be counting the calories? That's not going to make it matter all of a sudden. I'm sick of it all. I'm, I'm sick of dieting. Like a company reached out to me and wanted to send me a food scale for review. And I'm like, no, because I'm not measuring my food. I am refused to fucking measure my food. People that refuse to measure their food or pay attention to what they eat often have a similar physique. How about that? Is that lobster on the left? God, that looks disgusting. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful meat. <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. <laughs> I was lonely one night. I was living by myself. Oh my goodness, hold on. All right, now for this next little bit of video, I feel like I have to provide you with a little bit of warning. Um, she's going to be talking about selling herself uh, in exchange for a Whopper. So if that's a conversation that you're not ready to be a part of, I suggest you skip past this part. Watch the rest of the video though, please. Come on, baby, I need it. Come on, baby, I need it. I was lonely one night. I was living by myself, so... I got desperate and asked, called one of my lovers. That's not how it always starts. I was at home one night, I was feeling desperate. I was in the mood for a Whopper. So I called one of my lovers. That old story, <laughs> if I had a nickel. I won't say which one, but I might not even remember which one. Oh my goodness gracious. How many different lovers have provided you with Whopper money? That's my question. So I was turning tricks for fast food, as you do, and this happened. What? You kind of glossed over that first part. What do you mean you were turning tricks for fast food? Oh, yes, I do. And anyway... Oh, you do remember who it was. Okay, I'm sure he's very flattered. The Whopper gentleman in question. He's like, what? Chantel, you don't even remember me? What the hell? I supersized it for you. What the hell, Chantel? Chantal, Chantel, I don't know. Um, this is bad. What do you mean it's bad? I'm sure we've all sold our body for fast food before. What do you mean? We've all been there. We've all been there, baby. You're at rock bottom. You're laying in a pool of various bodily fluids on the floor of a McDonald's. You know, it happens. So I'm not supposed to sell my body for fast food? Is that what you're implying? This is like low-key prostitute, but I... What? No, no. Offered him foreplay if he would come over and bring me um, a couple of Whoppers. I think it was... What? <laughs> I offered him foreplay if he would come bring me a couple of Whoppers. Um, okie dokie. So you offered him some sloppy toppy uh, <laughs> in exchange for a couple of Whoppers. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if any of that was inappropriate. Um, sorry, but I feel the world needed to hear this story. <laughs> this is needed to come out. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard this story and seen this compilation. Whopper Wednesday and Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back. I think it was Whopper Wednesday. <laughs> it happened on a Whopper Wednesday. I don't wanna know what you do on Taco Tuesday down at Taco Bell, dude. Oh my goodness. And he got there and I was so mad. This, it gets worse. It gets worse. Um, all right, hit me with it. I was so mad and pissy that he forgot the zesty sauce from my onion rings that I only let him squeeze my boobs. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. So you offer this man certain favors in exchange for a certain type of sandwich on a certain Whopper Wednesday. He shows up with Whoppers in hand. So he fulfilled his part of the deal. Dill? His, his part of the deal. 
Okay, look, Amber Lynnisms are rubbing off on me. Anyway, so he fulfilled his part of the deal, and then you're like, all right, I guess you could just squeeze my boob a little. What the heck? I hope he snatched those whoppers right back, dude. He should have. <laughs> like, what? That was not part of the deal. Not that you should go around exchanging food for favors. This, is, this sounds bad. Now I look and sound bad. I'm not encouraging anybody to exchange anything for anything. It's a family channel. Anyways, so that was the first half of that compilation. Um, it's 10 minutes in total. Me reacting to it, obviously, it's going to be more than that. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up, and I'll make a part two. Once again, big thank you to the Dainty channel for making this compilation. Please don't copyright strike me. That was a lot of fun. Chantel goes off the rails to a degree that we have seldom seen. Rarely do you see somebody that is that unapologetic. I love it. You say what you want about her, no Fs are given. You cannot accuse her of giving an F, okay? You would be lying if you said that. Please click the like button. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.